Welcome to the studio. I'm here today with President-Elect for NSTA, Alicia Connerly. Alicia, today's episode of NSTA TV is all about science in action. Yes. In your experience, how does having a role model in STEM impact a student's experience in science learning? It impacts it in the most profound way because when students can develop a role model in something that they have an interest in or bring about a perception that the students didn't even know about, then they're like, oh, it's an aha moment of, I like what this person is doing. I want to do what they're doing. I can do what they're doing because that's what a role model does. Whenever a role model picks up on someone who is excited about what they're excited about, you begin to have this thing that I call a pour, where you begin to pour into them because you, you feel the passion and then that resonates between two people. So I call it the pour. When you develop your role model, they'll begin to pour in you. I love that. And that pour helps you fill up your cup. Yes, it does. So you can pay it forward. Yes. And you know, you've frequently spoke about and led workshops about diversity, equity, and inclusion. Yes. How important is it for students to see themselves represented in their STEM role models? So when you have children who are looking to someone that they feel that they can trust and respect, they look for representation first. And it's always who and what are you representing? So that's always my thing. So yes, with DEI, I'm like diversity. I don't care if you're in a suburb, urban, rural setting, there is gonna be some type of diversity in your classroom, whether it's a two parent home, single parent mm -hmm. home, uh, both parents are working, somebody, that is diversity. Mm -hmm. And then you, how do you reach all of them? And then the inclusion piece, you make sure that you're including them by acknowledging that there is a difference, tapping into that difference and working with that collectively and having the children in your room say, hey, I like that you have this going on mm -hmm. and I have this because building that inclusion piece would give a sense of ease and then that equity. Equity isn't just providing everyone with their resource. Mm -hmm. It's providing them with a resource, supporting them with that resource and giving them opportunities to be effective and efficient using those resources. And so that's what we're doing even with our strategic plan. And that's what I always like to lead out and teach on because people don't understand that even if you try to do away with something, it's still there. Absolutely. <laughs> and this all makes the classroom mm -hmm. so much richer, the learning experience so much richer. Yes. Now you have worked a ton of different positions at NSTA. Yes. <laughs> Volunteer on up. Yes. <laughs> How are all these different roles going to, um, you know, influence your term as NSTA president? As a district level administrator, every time I've moved up in the ranks in public education, my thoughts always go back to never forget that you were once a substitute teacher, teacher in the classroom, administrator in a building, and now on the district level. Because if I don't lose focus in where I started, I won't get sidetracked and distracted by bringing others along with me. It's the same thing with my role in, as an NSTA incoming president. Don't forget that you were once only a volunteer. Don't forget that you were only once a person leading a workshop or a conference session. Because when you tap into that, then I'm the representation that I started out as a volunteer. Now I am the incoming president from Mississippi. First one ever. That transcends when you go back to representation. So my goal is to show that I represent you as a volunteer. I know what it means to have to say, hey, go over here, mm -hmm. go over there. And I respect the job that you have. I represent you by leading sessions. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? Whether there's a room full of people or two or three in there, you pour into that two or three, mm -hmm. just like you're pouring into a full room. And guess what? That two or three will remember, hey, remember me in your session? I surely do. Mm -hmm. And I remember what we talked about. And all of those different roles, you know, all the different the volunteers, the workshop leaders, all are such an important part yes. of the conference. Yes. What is the thing that you are most looking forward to with the conference this year and with, with the year ahead for NSTA, really? 
I am looking forward to, we're moving into our new governance. We just approved our new bylaws. So there are gonna be some fantastic transitions that um, will bring about the approach that, of which we're going with NSTA and getting more people involved, casting our net wider, getting those early career educators or early childhood educators all the way up to pre-service and academics. So I'm just looking forward to our networking growing, our membership growing, our net expanding. And not only that, the next conference will be in New Orleans, Louisiana. So much fun. Yes. So much fun. Only a two hour <laughs> drive from me and baby, I'm ready. So that is the first big thing that I'm looking That's forward to. That's so exciting. Well, thank you so much yes, for your time. We hope you, you enjoy the conference. Yes, and thank, thank you for joining so us. Thank you for having me.